Look, I'm not proud of the title of this video, nor am I about the thumbnail as well, but that doesn't take away from the fact that the Bond Dairy is a very good level. I can explain. About a week ago, I decided to take a break from Extreme Demons by playing some Insane Demons. I eventually formed a plan to beat numerous Insane Demons until I felt ready to get back to Extremes, which this one in particular was probably the most debatable one to go for. If you can't tell by the thumbnail, this level is very controversial with a lot of stuff about it. This level includes a song called Bassgasm by Boom Kitty, which is known to have multiple moans throughout the level. Along with that, like the thumbnail suggests, there is very questionable art in the level that can make you feel a certain type of way. Regardless, I found the level to be really fun to play and I found the decoration and effects to be quite interesting as well. In today's video, I will be showing you my completion and giving my overall review on the level to tell you guys if I would recommend it to you. Now, if you don't want to hear me yap for the next few minutes and head straight into the completion, there will be a timestamp available to you in the description below. Now, about the level, the Bond area is a level that I had interested in trying to do a long time ago before I beat an extreme all the way back of mid-2022. I eventually decided not to go for it after achieving 27% because I wanted to do Layak instead, since it's around the same difficulty. Which, it is honestly interesting that I am now just coming back to it, because I've always thought this level was interesting and funny. But now I have completed it and I can easily say that this level is pretty great despite some interesting qualities the level may have. Every single part of this level has satisfying quick scene gameplay, which is my personal favorite type of gameplay. Finding the best levels with this gameplay is like hitting the gold mine because there are so many awful flow quick sync levels in the game from either the bad or buggy gameplay. But the Bond area sticks out for not only being awful, but actually for being one of the best I've ever played, achieving both balancing and satisfactory. Like most click sync levels, this level is extremely learning at first. It includes a lot of fakes and specific click patterns that takes time getting used to. Understanding that, after the learning process, it starts to become extremely consistent, which is the reason why I had so much progress when first playing from zero. I would recommend if you were to go for this, you need to do a lot of runs to make sure you really have that consistency down. For example, I did 17-100% twice before even playing from zero, which is probably the reason why I beat it whenever I went from zero for only 15 minutes. This is not an easy insane demon either. This is known to be up there with the hardest insane demons in the game, despite not even being on the IDL. The pre-drop is one of the most confusing parts of the level at first, requiring click patterns that may have you hold for a certain point in time or just simple buffer clicks. After learning what to do though, it becomes consistent fast and is probably one of the easiest parts of the level. As for the drop parts of the level, it normally relies on decently difficult waves with other gameplays mixed in between. Surprisingly, it's all balanced in difficulty, which creates a very satisfying experience with no mind block being created. Now I do think there is a hardest part, which leads me to talk about the duels. These can be very easy to die to if you're not careful. Despite each duel being quite short, it holds a pretty difficult clicks that require some control, mainly in the wave department. Given some time, this duel part can become easily the best part of the level, very consistent and it's very fun to pull off. Heading into the last part, it honestly might be even easier than the pre-drop the more I look at it, but I think it's a strong part to end up the level as it probably has some of the most satisfying uh, movements in the entire level. In conclusion, the Bond area presents a well-balanced and satisfying challenge, starting with a confusing yet manageable pre-drop, progressing through moderately difficult yet enjoyable wave sections, and culminating in precise and engaged duels. The final part provides a fittingly strong and satisfying end, making the level a consistent and enjoyable experience overall. So would I recommend this to you? Yes, you got my stamp of approval. Now before we head on to the completion, for some reason the audio levels are swapped so my mic audio was quite low compared to the capture audio, making it hard to hear me throughout the completion. The issue has been since resolved so it shouldn't be a problem anytime soon. If you haven't already, if you like this type of content, make sure you hit the like and subscribe button to help me support. We're on our way to 2,000 subscribers, so I'm going to be hosting every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, so expect three uploads a week. And uh, yeah, it just really helped me out if you uh, click the subscribe button. So uh, here's completion now. Uh, the Bond area, 100%. I have 26 again. I have 219 points on the memory deep in this, and I have 30 completed memories. Oh, never mind. What? Did someone just give me more mana cookies for oh. oh, someone just gave me an extra 21 points.
a took, dude. No, what? Oh, <laughs> die. But did you die at the key part? Oh my. Dude, where even am I? What did I die to? Wait, that's a good question. You, mi you missed the key, bro. What? That's crazy. Maybe the saw. Well, okay. <laughs> They bro, that's really, like five. That took like that five mean? minutes. I just got, I just got a an achievement saying, "Why is it warm or something?" I don't know. It, I don't know. Uh, yeah. Why I, did, how did I die there, dude? Yeah. Dude. GG, bro. Well, job done. One thousand sixty-nine attempts. There you go. That's your attempt count, baby. This level's learning is all hell. So it's all learning attempts. Literally beat it in like 20 attempts from zero.